It would have had to have been in front. You all voted yeah. me Goodbye, out. Goodbye, Steven. I, Goodbye, Stevie. I'm just saying, well, like, guys, I'm not imposter because I would have won. Uh -huh. Wait, really? Yeah, I didn't win, so I'm not imposter. <laughs> Uh. It's so annoying. <laughs> Steve. Steve, for what it's worth, I got the joke the first time you said it. I laughed. Which joke? Steve Bone. Oh my god, Steve, stop. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> which joke are you talking about, man? Shut up. <laughs> I actually don't know. So <laughs> he doesn't lose his imposter. <laughs> Duke of Hokey Six for Prime. Because he's Steve. <laughs> oh. Mm. That's so funny that you thought that was a joke. <laughs> Cherry Key, thanks for the sub. Oh, well. man. I mean, you look online, you see all the imposter win percentages, right? You've seen that, right? Is that a real thing? Yeah, yeah Steve's number the one. I've seen one. it, dude. Okay. If <laughs> How am I the highest one on that, dude? That's so funny. Don't know about you, but I really enjoyed having the stats during the airship era. So I thought now would be a good chance to revisit the stats we've been keeping since the reunion. This past week has been week 52 of the morning lobby reunion. So we've had 52 weeks of morning lobby essentially, and they started playing modded since week nine. That means a total of 385 modded Among Us games have been played. And out of that, there have been 17 players who have played at least hundred modded Among Us games and the names are on the screen. Basically, everyone you'd expect. No. Wait, well, I know. I, that's I, think it's good I feel like task. Snitch is <laughs> fine. Ta uh, like, we have. It takes a I already long think. Time to do all your tasks. I already think it's incredibly crewmate sided. No. No. Are you kidding me? I mean, I've been collecting dubs, bro. Imposters, imposters, imposters that want more than crew. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a lot of imposters. No, I know. It's so much easier. How are you, how are you saying it's more imposter? Like, yeah, that's weird. Um, there's so much more information for crew to sort through. I think it's very crewmate sided. Really? Opinion. What? Really? Yeah. I don't. I disagree. Up, I don't think so. Our lobby, and our lobby is very imposter sided. You can just look at the stats. Yes, I know that is a relatively old clip, but I think it's a adorable that Janet has loved the snitch role and defended it ever since the beginning, and B Five Up has been against the snitch role ever since its conception. I included that clip to spark discussion on what people think the ideal crewmate win rate in a modded lobby should be. So for context, the morning lobby has a 53% crew win rate through all of the modded games. So all 380 plus of them. But over the last 10 weeks, it's actually been a little bit more crew sided with approximately a 58% crewmate win rate. This is with all the neutral and imposter roles on. So what about imposters? Well, they win about 23.1% of the time, almost a quarter of the time. Um, I think that's not bad in terms of balance. And neutrals, well, overall, each neutral role has a 13.5% chance of winning, um, taken as a whole. And you'll notice the 53% plus 23% plus 13.5 doesn't equal to 100%. That's because each game may have one, two, or even three neutral roles, and they individually have a separate chance of winning. So Jesses have approximately 18.9% chance of winning. Xyz 12.7% chance of winning. It's a lot harder to win as a neutral killer role, usually because Glitch and Arsonist have about a 9% chance of winning each time. But Playbearer recently is actually a pretty strong role. Um, it wins about one fifth of the time, with eight wins and 31 losses in recent weeks. I'll take it. I just don't think I get imposter in any game ever anymore. I think it's t tried and proven, unless it's first class trouble where I get imposter all day, every day. I don't think there's any deception game where I can actually get the bad roll. It just seems impossible at this point. Is Koji being salty or does he actually have a point? Well, if you look at the stats, he actually is one of the least likely to get an imposter role. So I can understand why he feels frustrated not getting um, imposter games and sometimes weeks on end. Um, you'll see that Steve and Hafu also have bad imposter luck, whereas Kotili, Kara and DK get imposter a lot. Then if you further filter out and look at the frequency of imposter and or special neutral role, so not including Amnesiac, you'll find out that Koji actually has the worst luck out of everyone. And interestingly enough, you have Kara, Junk and Kotili, which I think are latecomers um, to the morning lobby when they've had more neutral roles turned on, I guess. So that would sort of explain their higher frequency of special roles. But if you remember the side before, Kara and Kotili just get imposter so much more than everyone else anyway. 
Because Wait, how, what led to, what led to get into the stats chips? combo? You, you dumbass! You kept bringing Me? it up. I'm number one imposter. <laughs> have you seen number the stats? One. You know who's Sorry, number one? one? You sound so offended by like what? Uh, one, I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. Like, Steve is literally the player with the most jester wins. He is the player with the most execution of wins, and in fact, he's the only player regular who tops both categories. That's pretty impressive. That being said, will he be the top imposter? Let's find out. Now, here are the parts that you probably are most interested in. Just a kind reminder, please don't be toxic about these. Um, these players play for fun. These stats are just for fun. And I'm sharing them mainly because I put in hours and days culminating these stats. And it seems like a waste not to share them. That being said, I will be censoring the bottom five. So we don't know who's last in any of these categories, uh, but we'll have a better idea of who tops them. So here we have the crewmate win rates. I think a lot of it does make sense. Gumi being very good. Um, yeah, I think if you watch the morning lobby, you'll see that she's absolutely cracked uh, with her deductions and her town play, S major, is very good. And then you have Hafu, Dumb Dog, and Fiverr, um, who are just extremely well-versed and very smart. Um, always seem to know who the killers are. And then, of course, you have Kara, Obli, um, Janet. And then you have the <laughs> three musketeers, Steve, Alam, and Koji. The only person that seems quote unquote out of place would be Habom. But then I realized he's made huge improvements in his game in recent months. So that's actually a thing that a lot of people have been picking up on. H1, I was just saying to my chat, you've got so good at Among Us. You've got so, so good at it, bro. I think I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're just, you've been doing really, really good. Like you always, whenever I, I mean, bro, I'm I can't tell if you're sarcastic right now. No, 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 I'm not. I'm, gen I'm genuinely not even being sarcastic. I honestly think he's. I feel like he's I haven't. Name, name one thing he's done right good, now. Alum. Name one good thing. Just, well, I don't write down a, a name one, one, good, no. one good trait. One good trait that he's been approved at. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, man, you got called out, my boy. You got called out, my boy. Guys, I've really just got to get going. I'm just. I'm just one, one good thing about it. Oh my god, think of a sub. That's crazy. Damn. You really, yeah, you really I can it. spot the face. I bro. can I can list a bunch of things. Bro. Yeah. yeah we can we can fake? we can spot the schmoozers. We can spot <laughs> we can spot. Fuck is up, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess in that bunch of things five up would list a bomb being a top crewmate should probably be one of them. Flashback. He did an updated uh, video this morning. <gasps> it's not Annie. I'm an good. updated I'm, I'm video. Okay, don't tell Hafu. Huh? Don't tell Hafu. Don't tell Hafu I'm watching this. It just doesn't matter. We shouldn't care about this. Don't tell Hafu. Who cares about these stats? Okay, I'm just looking. Sent imposter win rate. Dropping down to fifth place is Janet. Didn't you that picture of me? How huh? I look so guilty? That's my face when I look guilty. With a forty-five point eight three percent imposter win rate. When half is stretches. <laughs> when half is stretches. Hold on. Previous spot third. Imposter frequency twenty percent. Huh. End of flashback. So funny enough, Janet actually has the highest imposter win rate out of all the players with 100 plus games of modded among us. And she has a pretty sizable lead with a decent sample size and winning 38.3% of her imposter games. Um, second is Hafu, which is not surprising. She's definitely climbing up there. And Dumb Dog um, is also very efficient as the imposter role. Out of everyone here, I think Dumb Dog definitely has the highest technical knowledge about imposters and to be honest, all the roles. So it's not surprising he's top three. Um, you have Obli, who's a efficient killer, uh, definitely well deserving. And Alan, to be honest, a bit surprising to see him in the top five, especially only a few months ago, we were schooling him on how to play imposter properly and how he shouldn't have things like the world's worst signature kill on Scout. What the uh, fuck? Just died. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> what the fuck? That was Ellen. Dude, I literally just fucking just wander by. I'm just rolling through. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Where's Ellen? I love. You know what I love is that he literally calls this. He literally calls this. Before it even begins, dude. He literally calls it. Okay. It was just like a load of us on weapons. I it think I called okay. DK, DK, Dumb Dog it, myself. It was...
an Elam, yeah. Koji was there too. Up, five up I'm voting oh, Elam. So Elam. embarrassing, dude. On nine? <laughs> it's a morphling, dude. So embarrassing, dude. Hey, you gotta stop doing this kill. It was bad before, but now with custom mods, people are faking their tasks half the time, making this kill even worse. You almost got voted out on nine here. You know Shut the fuck up, dude! Are you serious? Sam, bro! Sam, what the fuck? What's with the sassiness? What's with the sassiness? Um, I guess it helped you be a better imposter, right? Now you're killing it, quite literally. After Alan, you have Scott, who is doing really well as imposter, as is Steve. Um, albeit not the top rated spot he had during the airship era, still doing above average. Then you have Z, 5up, Kimmy, Kara, and Koji, along with the others afterwards. Now we have the neutral win rates, which if you combine all the neutral roles together, you'll see that Kara and Z, I guess regulars from the junk lobby, are doing heads and shoulders better than everyone else. Um, that being said, there is a slightly limited sample size, so perhaps they will regress to the means, but it is very impressive how well they do in these neutral roles. And then you have Koji, who is really good, S tier jester. Um, and then you have Hafu, Habom, Dumdog, Steve, Janet, DK, Quatilli, Kimmy, and then Five Up, as well as the rest. But I think it's interesting if we actually divide the neutral win rate into both um, the ones that care about meetings, so the Jester and Exe, as well as the killing neutrals, and see what the stats show then. I think dividing neutrals into meeting neutrals and including Jester and Executioner actually makes sense because they both share the same goal of getting everyone else, both that crew, imps, other neutrals to vote against their best interests. It's a very unique skill set. And the people that do well with these type of roles include Z, Koji, DK. So people that aren't the highest imposter win rates if you want to think about it. And then you have Habom, Steve and Kimmy, as well as Dumbog, um, Janet, and then you have people like Hafu, Five Up, um, who are really good crewmates, but um, struggle a little bit as a meeting neutral. And then of course, Alan and the rest. If you take the added step of filtering out players who have 20 plus games of a meeting focused neutral, you'll see Steve is number one. He is really good at executioner and jester um, ahead of everyone else. And I think, you know, that's just a fundamental skill set he has. Um, even though his imposter skills, uh, for example, may have not kept up to date. The interesting thing is, even though 5up and Alum are last on this chart, they're actually the only two players in the entire lobby after 380 plus games to have secured a rare phantom win. So I thought that was an interesting tidbit. Next, of course, we have the neutral killing roles and their win rates. And you can see that Kara is doing extraordinarily well. She has, she's really good at the meeting as well as killing neutrals. Uh, but Hafu, definitely does a lot better as a killing neutral compared to a meeting neutral. And Z and Gumi is doing really well. And Janet, Dumbdog, Koji, Alum, Ovli, Steve struggles a little bit, um, Cortilli, and then we have five up. And so the average um, win rate of a killing neutral is 10%. But like we said, it's almost 20% for Pestilence and Plague Bearer. So in the previous table, we saw players with 10 plus games as a neutral killer. But if we filter out by players with 20 plus games as a neutral killer, we'll see something very interesting. At least I found this interesting. It's that there's a very strong correlation between how well you do as a neutral killer to how well you do as an imposter, which makes sense. Both have very similar skill sets of being able to kill uh, bodies, hide them well, and basically avoid sus in meetings and vote out other people to finally clutch the game. So I just thought it was interesting that the same people who excel at imposter also excel as neutral killer. I think we noticed that each player has different strengths and weaknesses, be that crew sided, imposter sided, or meeting directed sided. I think an all rounder player is someone that has, you know, good imposter wins as well as good crew wins, but at least a jester win, executioner win, a glitch or jug win, or an arsonist or plague bearer win. A, a few people haven't managed to get the plague bearer role, for example. And only a few people have managed to tick all these boxes. Can you guess who they are? 
it's an interesting group of people. Um, you have Steve, um, who's had four Jester wins, um, as we mentioned, the most of anyone in the lobby, um, but also got an Executioner win, a Glitch win, a Plague Bearer win, or Pestilence win. And then you also have Dumb Dog, Koji, and Kara, and the only four people to have been able to tick each of these boxes. I just thought that was just a little bit interesting. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this 15 minute talk about stats. And um, I'll just leave you on these overall stats again and my brief comment, which is, um, I think the crew win rate is starting to creep up there and to best balance it, I would highly recommend uh, the morning lobby play with better polis. And you might not need to choose all the options, but at the very least, please switch vitals location instead of being in office, move it to med bay because right now, towards the end of the game, everyone is just camping, admin table, vitals, the button. And if you move the actual vitals to med bay, where imposters can sabotage two doors in between, you'll have a lot less um, clumping of players and I think a better game for everyone and slightly nerf crew in the process. The other cool part is you can move reboot Wi-Fi up to the dropship so people actually have a reason to go back to the dropship um, later on in the game. And did I mention Donna's actually added these into the Town of Us game settings. You just have to tick a box. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. It's taken a lot of work, a lot of hours and days to keep these stats and maintained and to make this video. Um, hopefully you found it interesting and I hope you treat them like you would, for example, you know stats, uh, people's win rates or how often they plus, play plus fours or plus twos, etc. Um, just for fun, a bit of interest. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. Thanks.